lubricated clutch and throttle cables are definitely not as sexy as slip-on exhausts and quick shifters. But a lighter clutch pull and smoother throttle can also make you faster. Technically. So today we're going to go over two methods to lube your bike's cables. One old school with zero tools and one easy method. As well as why and when you might want to lube your cables. When was the last time that you lubed either your throttle or clutch cables? If you said any time within the last decade, you're already above average. And if you said that you have a hydraulic clutch and a ride-by-wire throttle, come back when I can afford a brand new Panigale. Because on this channel, we still run cables. So all clutch and throttle cables can be lubricated. However, modern cables have a Teflon lining to help reduce friction and increase the cable's lifespan. Those won't require as much lube as older steel cables or see as much of an improvement. But a light coat of oil will always help. Personally, I've never had an issue with any cable on any bike or felt the need to lubricate them. But if you have an older bike, frequently ride in harsh conditions or your bike's just had a tough life, then lubricating them will make your clutch lighter to pull and more consistent since there's less friction and your throttle smoother and less sticky. Which is probably safer. And if that isn't a problem, look at it this way. Less friction equals less wear, and less wear equals prolonged cable life, which is never a bad thing. Plus, cable wear is often difficult to spot, since they're covered in a cable housing and are rooted in obscure places. So being proactive is the best way to prevent cables from snapping. For the old school method, you'll need a Ziploc bag, cable lube, and a rubber band and obviously any tools you might need to remove the cable from the bike. But for the easy method, all you'll need is your lube and a cable lubing tool like this Tusk one that costs around $10 but makes life a lot easier. Choosing the wrong lube could just make things worse. The easy choice is something like WD-40. However, it is a solvent which will degrade the Teflon lining in the cable housing, causing it to gum up your cables. It can be as simple as engine oil. But the most convenient choice is a cable-specific lube in an aerosol can like this. Because then you know for sure that there's nothing in it that will make things worse over time. First, the hard way. Removing the cable from the bike completely will make gravity work more effectively for you. I also temporarily pulled these curved plastic ends off of the housing so that I had a straight end to work with and since they had slits in them that would leak. Cut the bottom corner off of a Ziploc bag and slip that corner over the top of the cable. With the bag facing down, seal the bag to the cable housing with the rubber band. Then flip the bag inside out to create a makeshift funnel. Fill your funnel with your chosen lube and let gravity guide the lube to the other end of the cable. Sliding the cable in its housing can help speed things up. And once you see oil reach the other end, you're done and can put the cable back on the bike. Then there's the easy method. Simply detach the cable from the clutch or throttle to gain access to the opening of the housing and the cable itself. Then clamp your cable lubing tool to the housing. One side has a hole big enough for the housing, while the other end is only big enough for the cable itself. So clamping it down with the thumb screws squeezes the rubber inner against the cable, sealing it off so that when you insert your lube's nozzle into this hole and spray it, it only has one way to go, down the cable housing. Well, more or less. There will be some spillage, but most of the lube instantly shoots to the other end of the cable with zero effort. After all, it's called the easy method for a reason. But anyway, let me know if this made your controls feel any better and share this video with a friend who has a sticky throttle or an awful clutch. 
subscribe to learn more bike work skills and I'll see you on the next ride.